Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, different indexes and um, we're going to look at the different uh, bull and bear ETFs and ETNs uh, as vehicles to trade the indices. So first up is the Dow Jones Industrial Average and so that was a huge move today off the lows. You can see it closed up nearly 1% and so what it needs to do is get back above 50 on our side. It's currently at 47. Fast though, back above 50 is a signal the chart is heating up. As you can see over here, there, there were two white candles in a row today. Okay, so that was a bullish change in trend. The last time that happened was back here on the 14th and 15th of March. And, and so there was also a close above EMA 13, currently at, at 24193. And, and the last close above that level was all the way back here in on the 12th of March. So, so it's trying to get a reversal going here. Um, it closed above the closing price here on March 26th. You want to see that level? Level hold and EMA 13. If it stays above 24 uh, 193 tomorrow, then, then the, the uh, th that's going to be putting this middle Bollinger Band on deck, and that's the big level to break. That's going to be at uh, 24463. So if the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, stalls out at the middle Bollinger Band, that would signal a temporary top. If it can close above and turn that level into support, it could finally get an uptrend going. Right now, it needs to hold this 200 day simple moving average currently at 23451. If it, if it fails, to hold that level, that would be a big red flag that it's breaking down lower. Uh, keep in mind um, that there's uh, some important economic data coming out on Friday, and so that, that that's going to move the markets. And so depending on uh, the, the the wage growth, okay, so it's going to be the jobs report and uh, wage earnings growth. And if the wage earnings growth numbers are good, uh, last time that was really bearish for the markets. So we're going to have to see what happens. So yeah, that right now, take a look at UDO. So it's it's running. It closed up nearly 3% today. So that was a really big move. It's bouncing off of the 200-day simple moving average currently at 80.50. Notice how the open was down here at 78. It, 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 and then it closed down here at the uh, just above EMA 13 at 85.46. So that's the big level to hold. If it can stay above that, that 85.50 level tomorrow, that's going to signal more upside. And it could run up here to this uh, middle Bollinger Band at 88.68. That's the big level the break. You know, I, I didn't show it on the last chart, but Dow Jones has this uh, uh, gap. Okay, so so there, there is potential for uh, a possible gap fill if it does get up to that middle Bollinger Band and break above. But first things first, it has to hold that EMA 13 and then make a run up to 88. 88 is going to be a big level to break. You know, there is a bullish crossover down here on the 8, 13, and 5 MACD, but but it still needs to get a crossover on that 12, 26, and 9. So take a look at S Dow. This is short. Uh, uh, this is short the Dow right here so so check it out it's it's cooling down it had two red candles in a row with the giant red candle today and it did drop all down to that 100 day simple moving average at 1928 support level okay so so it closed just below if that level breaks and turns into resistance that'll be a red flag it was the first close below that level since it cl closed above all these candles were above the 100 day simple moving average until today and so if that breaks then you have the middle Bollinger Band at 1904 19 is the big level if you see 19 break tomorrow that's gonna for s dow you know that'll be you know that's gonna be be the signal that the markets are taking off and, and this could drop down to 1835 to the upside it needs to break this high close resistance level at 21 that that 21 resistance zone to break out higher so take a look at spx so this is the s p 500 index you can see here it had a nice bounce today it, it, it did close above emas four and eight so that was the first close above both of those levels since this drop began okay so the the last close above EMAs four and eight was back here in March, on March 13th. So it's so it's trying to start a, a reversal here. It's hitting EMA 13 at 2649. That's the orange line. It needs to close above that level. So so if the if it's trading above 2650, that's going to be really bullish. And then it has to break that 2660 level. If it does, then that would put that middle Bollinger Band and 100 day simple moving average back on deck. Now if if, if it fails to break that EMA 13 level, that's going to be a a red flag and um, it could pull back. It has to stay above EMA uh, 4 and 8 now that, that it's traded above and, and then it also uh, needs to hold this 200-day uh, simple moving average at 2591. As you can see here, it traded well below that today and, and then ended up, you know, this, it was just a huge volatility today. Okay, so, so let's look at um, 
uh, huge swings in the share price today, and so and and volatility did did move up and down as well. And as you can see here with SPXL, um, yeah, this this was a, a nice three percent gain today. So this is the S and P five hundred bull. Uh, um, it, yeah, this is uh, yeah. So this is the three times, and so it came down here and it closed above EMA's four and eight and the middle Bollinger Band currently at forty twenty two. Oh, I mean, and, and not the middle Bollinger Band above the two hundred day simple moving average at forty twenty two. So it needs to stay above 41 that's ema 8 there at 4089 if it stays above 49 that 41 that would be bullish and, and then ema 13 at 4176 is the next big level to break if spxl fails to break that 4175 level that would be a red flag and it'll definitely be a red flag if it starts trading back below 41 it needs to hold that 200 day simple moving average at 40 that's the big support level to to, to to keep holding if it drops below it would test that that 300 day simple moving average again down there at 37. So yeah, above 41 would be bullish, and then you'd be talking about a run back up to that middle Bollinger Band at 43.86. Now, if you look at SPXS, this is the S&P Bear, S&P 500 Bear, three times, and you can see it has a nice uptrend going, but but it's cooling down. So the uptrend started back here when it got above the middle Bollinger Band. Now there's two red candles in a row with the big red candle today. Uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely um, you know signaling the chart is cooling down. It's hitting the 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 100 day simple moving average at 20. If it drops below that level, then the middle Bollinger Band is going to be on deck down there at 28.27. It needs to hold the middle Bollinger Band in the 50-day simple moving average at 27.81 to keep that uptrend going. So below 29 would be uh, would signal downside risk, and you're likely to see 28 hit. To the upside, it has to break this 31.50 resistance zone. Um, you know, above that's 32.50, and then the 200-day simple moving average at 33.50. Okay, let's look at Nasdaq. This is the Nasdaq 100. Um, yeah, it had the big pullback as well. And it's bouncing off of the 200-day simple moving average uh, support zone. And so today there was that, that big close back above EMA4 at 65.14. That's the key level to turn into support. The next big level to break is EMA8 at 65.60. So that's the, that, that's the huge uh, resistance level. It closed right at it. It, it. That's also the closing price from uh, last uh, Thursday. If it can get above that level, then the 100-day simple moving average and EMA4 at, at or EMA 13 at 66.29 are the big levels. Okay, so those are those are the two big levels above. I have to get above that 66.30 resistance zone. If it starts stalling out at 66.30 tomorrow, you'll know that's a temporary top. Um, it, it, if it definitely if it fails to get above EMA 8 at 65.60, that would be a red flag. Okay, so take a look at ProShares Ultra Pro Triple Q. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, following uh, the the uh, Nasdaq when it's going up. Um, this is going up as well and so as you can see today it finally closed above EMA 4 the last close above that level was back here on the 26th so it needs to stay above 139.30 if you see it drop below 139 that would be a red flag and then and then that 200 day simple moving average could get retested there at 132.50 that level needs to hold if the 200 day simple moving average failed to hold then that 300 day simple moving average at 118.50 would be on deck the, the key level to break above is EMA 8 at 143 if it can get above that level then EMA 13 at 148 will be on deck it's it, it hit that ema8 level today and failed to break and so you know it's currently in a, a strong uh, downtrend right now and it's trying to reverse you know the two white candles in a row you know that signaled the reversal here and the two white candles in a row signaled the reversal here and so now that it formed two white candles finally in a row is this the sign for a reversal um it just all it has to do is follow through um you know that that's the way it's performed in the past we'll just have to see if the pattern continues and and so, yeah, this is SQQQ. This is the Ultra Pro Short Triple Q. And as you can see here, it had that big pullback today. So that was a nasty pullback after that big uh, uh, open. It had the big gap up open all the way up here. It hit that 2050 level. And, and, then it, and then it pulled back dramatically, closing near low of day. So that was a really strong pullback. It did close back below the 100-day the simple moving average at 1915. It has to get back above that level. If that turns into resistance and it breaks this EMA 13 at 1810 level, then that 50-day simple moving average and middle Bollinger Band down there in that 17th support zone will be on deck. Okay, let's look at IWM. This is the Russell 2000. So yeah, so this this had a, a, a you know the big pullback. Um, 
this is this is the small caps it came all the way down here it's hitting this uh, ascending support line and the and the 200 day simple moving average at 147 that's the big level to hold today it did close back above EMAs 4 and 8 so that was a bullish close you know there's the two white candles in a row you know the last time it formed the two white candles in a row you know that signaled the reversal is that you know is it going to have follow through again tomorrow um, you know it's set up for it it is hitting the 100 day simple moving average at, at 152.56 so it's going to need to break that level. That's the next big level, 152.50. And then that 50-day simple moving average at 153.42. Those are the two big levels above. You know, it's hitting EMA 13 right now at 152.20. So it's basically, you know, this 152 to 153.50 level is a huge resistance level. If you can get above that 153.50, then you have the middle Bollinger Band back on deck, and then it could really get moving again up there at 154.38. Okay, and now let's look at uh, TNA. So TNA, this is the small cap bull three times. And, and as you can see here, it's uh, bouncing after the big pullback. It did close above the EMAs 4 and 8. It needs to get above EMA 8 at 68. That's the big level to break. It closed right below that level today. If it gets above that, then you have the 100, 50, and 20-day simple moving averages, which is the middle Bollinger Band there, all between 70 and, and uh, you know 71. And, and so that's going to be the big resistance zone. If it, if it goes up and it hits that 70 resistance zone and, and fails to break, that's going to signal a temporary top. If it can close above, it could get a new uptrend going. So, so first things first, it has to get above EMA 13 you know you're looking for this kind of move uh, you know you had the the move up to EMA 13 you want to see a break above you know uh, yeah so so basically it's got the two white candles in a row this is what we had been looking for uh, we're, we're uh, you know to signal a possible start of a reversal um, and, and so now let's look at TZA this is the small cap bear three times and so as you can see it formed the two red candles in a row and yeah when, when uh, you know the last two times that that, that they formed the, the the two red candles here, two red candles here, you know, it broke down. It did form two red candles here and, and bounced. And so uh, <clears throat> tomorrow uh, for TZA, it needs to hold this 50-day simple moving average at 11.73. If that level breaks, then it's going to drop down to this middle Bollinger Band at 11.38. It has to hold that level to keep the uptrend going. If the middle Bollinger Band were to break, that would signal a possible downtrend for TZA, which is the small cap bear three times, or, or, and it would signal a new uptrend for TNA and for the Russell 2000. It would be a big signal that the markets are reversing. Um, if TZA, um, SQQ, and uh, SPXS continue to be in an uptrend, if they hold the middle Bollinger Band, that would be a red flag for the markets. Okay, because right now the 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 bull ETFs and ETNs here like SPXL um, and then the the TQQQ and TNA they're all in very strong downtrends right now, and so it's gonna you know they're gonna need to break resistance to get through the the you know to reverse the downtrend and get a new uptrend going. Okay, so tomorrow's gonna be a big day for the markets. We're gonna see if today was a head fake or if there's gonna be follow through. Uh, one thing to keep an eye on, you know, there was that big pullback today, but volume wasn't. Uh, super heavy and so uh yeah it wasn't a giant volume day so we'll see uh yeah we'll see it, you know like when it bounced and made a big reversal before uh you know that there was a big volume for the iwm and then that you know xpss you know had the big volume xpx had the big volume down here on the bounce and so this is a relatively uh a, you know a lighter to average volume day for the indices and so you can see here in February when it bounced. So so there wasn't a big conviction. You know, there wasn't even though there was the big move today, it wasn't on huge volume. I mean, look at that. It's it's like half the volume of the move on the on the bounce from back here in February. So that's something that, that that's a red flag. Um, just just in the sense that um, you know people did not load heavy here, even though there was a big bounce, it wasn't on giant volume. OK, and so uh, what that's telling you, at least this is my uh, my opinion, is that people are worried about the, the, the numbers coming up on Friday. OK, so people are not going heavy right now. Look how small the volume was today. So that's that's, you know, that's a red flag um, just because, uh, you know, it, it, to get a really strong reversal, usually uh, you need a big volume spike. And so there wasn't huge conviction in the volume behind the move today. And, and with the, the numbers coming out on Friday, I think that would be the big telltale, uh, you know, um, on whether or not we're going to break out higher or whether it, it could break down. You know, if the if the if they if the markets do not like the data that's coming out, I, I believe it's coming out near the market open on uh, Friday, 
then that's going to be, um, you know, uh, you know th that could put a lot of pressure on the market. So I think people right now are, are playing it safe. And so they're not placing big bets. You're not seeing the big bets in the volume right now like you did back here in February. So just something to keep an eye, you know, keep in mind when trading tomorrow. You know, so yeah, thank you very much for doing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, come check us out in our chat. Um, yeah, uh, I'll post the link below the YouTube video. We are in the, the premium channel and the premium chat. So if you come check out the chat and there's nobody in the free chat, that's because we're all on the premium channels. So just uh, let me know and I'll give you a, a free uh, a link to the uh, a free pass to the, the chat. You could check it out and see if you like it or not. Okay, thank you.